Hi guys, I'm here in the woods today to have a look at the Hubba NX Solo. I picked this up a few weeks ago because I wanted something lightweight for backpacking trips. Oh, my water's boiling over. Okay, the MSR Hubba NX. lightweight backpacking tent. This isn't a review as such because I've not had it that long. However, it has been used in some pretty awful weather. Uh, some really heavy rain, strong gusts of wind, and it's held up really well. I'm really impressed with it. And this is not a paid promotion, by the way. I wasn't even gifted this tent. This is something that I bought for myself. It costs 288 pounds. And I just wanted to share some info with you guys and my initial thoughts on it. Now, I am not an expert, of course, in this tent or any other tent for that matter so if there are better ways of working with this tent that you guys know of please do stick them in the comments because it could help me out and it will help other people out as well so let's have a little look the Hubbard NX is a solo one person tent it's really lightweight coming in at 1.12 kilos which is great the outer of the tent is made of 20T ripstop nylon with DuraShield and silicone coating to keep you nice and dry. And the inner is made of nylon micromesh and 20D ripstop nylon. The base is made of slightly thicker 30D ripstop nylon and that's got the DuraShield coating as well. The poles are DAC for the light aluminium and these are all joined together to form the structure of the tent. So really easy. One of the things I love about this tent is just how versatile it is. It can be pitched both inner and outer first, although inner first is definitely easier. It can be pitched inner only if you want to sleep with a view of the stars on a nice dry night, or outer only if you want a super lightweight, waterproof option and you aren't too fussed about, you know, the bugs wandering in. For a one person tent, I think there's excellent space, lots of headroom, so that it's really comfortable to sit up in, with the max head height in the middle of the tent being 91 centimeters. There's a nice size vestibule for your gear and that's 0.84 square meters. The floor is 216 centimeters by 76 centimeters and it's non-tapered so it's the same width all the way down. This gives an area of 1.67 meters squared and it's enough room for my large sleeping mat and some gear and clothes as well. The entrance is side entry to the vestibule and that means you can have the door open in the rain, you're not going to get wet which is lovely. You can also open the whole front of the tent which is really nice. There's a built in rain gutter as well so this leaves the water down the tent instead of it dripping over the doorway and it's really nice and easy to get in and out of as well. The webbing tabs on the inner and outer are colour coded on each end so you've got grey on one end and red on the other. This helps you get both layers of the tent the right way around so that the doors are aligned and the guy lines are reflective so that you're less likely to trip over them at night, which I do a lot. There's a vent on the back of the tent which can be open or closed. There's a large pocket at one end of the tent inside as well and I've tied a piece of string across the top of the inner that I use as a washing line, that's quite handy. The zips move nicely and I've not had any snagging or zip related annoyingness as yet. The tent packs away really easily into a wide mouth sack which can then be tightened with the compression straps. Pack this way, the pack size is 46 by 15 centimetres. However, when I'm out on a trip, I prefer to store the tent inner and outer, stuffed in a stuffed sack, and then store the pegs and the poles on the outside of my rucksack. But this is just personal preference, of course, and you should do whichever works best for you. So let's have a look at pitching the NX inner first as you would on a dry day. So the tent's really easy to erect by simply inserting the poles into the metal eyelets on the corners of the inner. When the poles are inserted at the corners, make sure that the top pole is above the long pole and attach the pole to the top of the inner. Then just clip the inner to the long pole by the little black clips. If you want to sleep under the stars without the outer on a dry night, you can just leave it like this. I've tried this myself and it was a really nice experience. Worth bearing in mind though that my sleeping bag did get damp with dew. This isn't a problem on a single night trip, of course, you can just dry it out, but it might be a problem on a multi-night trip when you want to keep everything really dry. So next, just check the outer over and fix into place using the colour-coded webbing and metal eyelets. As it's freestanding, you can move the tent around to decide on the best pitch before placing it over your footprint if you use one and pegging it out.
pitching out of first is a little trickier. Apparently, if you have the specific NX footprint, there's metal eyelets on that to make it easier. I don't have that and I've not been able to get hold of one as yet. So I'm going to show you how I put it up with just the outer as I would in the rain. So first, I sit on the ground with my poles laid out and put the outer over my head. And from the inside, I insert the poles into the metal eyelets of the outer. Now, this can be tricky, especially when you've got cold, wet hands and everything's blown about in the wind, but it is doable. I've done it high up on Snowdon in wind and rain, and it's worked fine. And once the outer's up, you can use that as a simple shelter using the footprint as a floor if you want to, or you can go on to install the inner inside. So to install the inner, just lay it out inside the tent Make sure you match up your colour coding on the webbing again so that the doors are the right way around and attach the corners of the inner to the poles. You might need to go outside and do this and then you can clip the inner to the top pole again. And there you have it, a nice dry inner pitched in the rain. So as you can see, the NX is a really nice versatile tent. There's lots of ways of using it. It's really great weight. It's a great size. If I was traveling with a dog, I would need something bigger, but just for me and my gear, it's been perfect. No issues so far. I will, of course, keep you guys updated if anything crops up as I use it more. But yeah, so far, I'm really impressed with it. So I hope you guys have found some use in that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.